God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hi. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hi. How's everybody doing today? God bless you. Hi. Is that Bishop Kevin? How you doing? God bless you. Yes, I am. How you doing? God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. Don't judge me. But I am in the kitchen and hi, Miss May. Let me show you what I'm doing. Well, what I did. I'm greedy. So I just cooked some um, spaghetti. Um, I cooked some scalloped potatoes, some asparagus for my kids. Uh, and I got some chicken in the oven. Yes. And I am getting ready to run some errands. I just wanted to encourage everybody today and just give you this word that dropped in my spirit this morning. Hallelujah. I've been through hell, you hear me, over the last couple of weeks. Because I, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I released the book, Obedience is Key, and it's doing quite well. Well, since I released that book, the enemy has done everything he could do to attack me, to stop me. But let me tell you something. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. So when the enemy is attacking you, you keep on staying the course. You keep on doing what God has told you to do. Amen. And you will get to the other side. Amen. The word says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Yes. So let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. Okay, so Black Friday, I don't know if y'all follow me on Facebook. I went to the store and I got a new laptop. So tell me why a brand new laptop just stopped working. My laptop stopped working when all of a sudden I'm trying to put this magazine together. This ministry, and I thank God for the writers on here, the contributors, Miss May, Vera, um, Apostle Al. I thank everybody, hallelujah, that contributes to the magazine. So the Lord bless this ministry to have a magazine, Rejoice Essential Magazines. So tell me why I'm trying to put the magazine together. The enemy thought he can crash my new computer. Seriously? So sometimes we got to, you know, travail. Sometimes we got to be on the wall, stay on the wall. And sometimes we got to just tarry all night. So I tarried all night, you know, and praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, yes, thank you, Bishop. Yes, the devil is a liar. So when you pray at midnight, great things happen. Hallelujah. So not only did my new computer crash, but my internet has been off for a week and the bill was paid, you know, so I'm like, the devil is a liar. You cannot stop what God has, you know, what God has told me to do. So I've been frustrated beyond frustrated, beyond frustrated. Yes. Up all the time. Yes. Just worn this thing out. Amen. So let me tell you the word that dropped in my spirit this morning. God says, look for the blessing in the midst of the chaos. I don't know what you're going through today, but there's a blessing. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know what to do with connection problems. The devil is a liar. God, I plead the blood of Jesus upon this scope in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, God said there's a blessing in the midst of the chaos. Look for the blessing in the midst of the chaos. Hallelujah. Now, usually there's a blessing right underneath your nose. Let me tell you something. I've been praying to God about going on a trip. Now that I'm getting ready to go to Walmart after I finish the scope, I can get a cheaper laptop and that extra money I can pay for my flight to go on my trip that I've been wanting to go to. Amen? So that's the blessing in the midst of the chaos that I've been going through. Also, another blessing for me is I've been praying to God for an editor for the magazine. There has been a lady that has recently connected with this ministry that, holly, yes, look at God, right? And she said, Kim, if you ever need help, I can help you edit for the magazine. I was like, what? Look at God. This lady, the blessing was underneath my nose all that time. So look for the blessing in the midst of the chaos, whatever you're going through. Hallelujah. There's a blessing that's going to come out of it. There's a blessing right there for you. Amen. There is a blessing. So I thank God that I get a new laptop. It's cheaper. Yes, and um, also, I thank God that I get to go on a trip, and I also thank God for the new editor. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So look for the blessing in the midst of the chaos. 
a mess. I just wanted to curse somebody with that today. I just want to show you the book, the book that I released that the enemy thought he could try to cause hell in my life because I released this book. But this book has been blessing people. I have gotten so much feedback on how these books are blessing people. Amen. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's called Obedience is Key. It is on Amazon.com. Hallelujah. And another book that I've been getting great feedback about is in right standing. Now, these books are um, impacting lives. People have read these books and they say, Kim, I want to get more of God. Hallelujah. I'm ready to go on a consecration. I'm ready to try this thing because they read these books. Now, let me tell you something. You have books inside of you. You got things that you need to do for the Lord. Amen. So it's time to go out and it's time to do the things that God has called you to do. It's time to go out. Don't let the enemy stop you. Amen. You may feel resistance. You may feel like something's trying to block you, but you keep pressing forward. You keep welling at night. You keep travailing. Amen. You keep being that watchman on the wall. Because let me tell you something. There is a blessing in the midst of the chaos. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now. I'm going to give you a quick word, and I want to pray for you, because I know a lot of people are going through some things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I just want to tell you, yes, glory to God, yes. Yes, bishop, yes, pastor, glory to God. Now, the word, I'm going to read from Proverbs 3. Yes, glory to God, verse 31. And it says, envy thou not the impressor, and choose none of his ways. Right? Yes, confirmation. Look at God. Yes. Let me tell you something. We don't have, as children of God, we don't have to be envious of the wicked doer. We don't have to be envious of them. Because if if we sow unto the flesh, we will reap corruption. Amen. And the word says God is not mocked. You will reap what you sow. Hallelujah. So we don't have to be envious of what the evildoers are doing. No, we're going to keep living right. We're going to keep staying the course. We don't care what the enemy has tried to throw at us. No weapon formed against us will prosper. So you keep staying the course. Don't you dare give up somebody don't you dare give up hallelujah now the enemy tried to stop me he tried to stop this whole ministry god has called me to media god has called me as a writer and every month this, this ministry puts out a monthly magazine and i'm not gonna let the devil stop what i need to do for this you know for him for the kingdom amen and you you won't let the, the devil stop you either amen so glory to god we're gonna keep pressing we're gonna keep going forward yes so i just want to pray for everyone today, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you, glory to God, hallelujah. For everyone, God, that's watching this replay, that's underneath the sound of my voice, I decree and I declare that something good is going to happen for them today. I decree it and I declare it. God, you said in your word, if I decree such a thing, it shall be established, God, and your light, God, will shine upon all of my ways, God. Lord God, I cancel every frustration right now. I, I, I curse the spirit of frustration at the root. Now, the enemy has been trying to frustrate some of us. The enemy has been trying to attack our minds, but the devil is a liar. Everything that my heavenly father has not planted it has to be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. It has to be uprooted now. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. Hallelujah. God is destroying yokes. God is breaking chains. Hallelujah. If you just stay the course, if you keep travailing, hallelujah, God is going to put you on the other side of the storm. Hallelujah. And you're going to be equipped with power. Who am I talking to today? Glory to God. So you keep staying the course and look for the blessing because it's a blessing right in the midst of it. And sometimes we are so distracted by what's going on. We're so distracted, you know, and we can't see. We can't see clearly. But I want everybody to put on the eyes of faith today. We're going to see what God sees in our situation because it's a blessing right there. You don't perceive it, but it's a blessing in the midst of that thing. Amen. Glory to God. For example, when you went through your storm, hallelujah. You know, yes, amen. When you went through your storm, hallelujah. Then you learn how to pray. Then you learn how to fast. Hallelujah. Then you learn how to praise. And you got closer to the Lord. Amen. So that's a blessing all in itself. Hallelujah. If I ain't never went through my storm, I would never have communion 
our fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And now I, I come out the storm anointed. I come out the storm trained and, and equipped with some power. Glory to God. But before I came through this, I didn't have none of that. So there's a blessing in the midst of your storm, in the midst of your chaos. You just got to keep staying the course. Don't you dare give up. Glory to God. Don't you dare give up. Yeah, so look for the blessing. Hallelujah. Look for the blessing. Because the enemy, he wants to deceive you. He wants to lie to you. He wants to tell you that uh, God ain't working for you. He wants to tell you God ain't hearing your prayers. That's all a lie from the pits of hell. God hears you. God has heard your supplication. God is moving for you. Yes, in the name of Jesus. God is working your situation out. And God is perfecting everything that concerns you. Hallelujah. Sorry, my timer's off going off. My chicken um, cooking uh, skinless chicken breasts. They're done. So I'm getting ready to get off the scope. Yes, God is working. I'm getting re ready to get off the scope um, so I can eat some food and go to Walmart and turn uh, my old computer in and get a new computer. Hallelujah. So that's a blessing. And then the extra money that I have, I can go on my trip that I've been praying about. Hallelujah. And then another blessing is I got people that's helping me like Miss May for the magazine. So glory to God. So it's a blessing. It's a blessing. So don't walk around here frustrated. Don't walk around here discouraged with your head down. No, lift up your head. Glory to God. All right. So know that I love you with the love of the Lord. And y'all have a blessed day. And something good is going to happen for you today. In Jesus' name, God bless.